Whenever I do these DVD on packagings, I always forget what I've bought because I leave them for a couple of weeks. These have been sitting there for about a month, so this will be... Yeah, I don't know what any of these are, so this could go well, it could go horribly wrong. So these were all from CEX, and if you've seen any of my other unpackagings, sometimes CEX can send the wrong discs, sometimes it isn't always uh, plain sailing, and since I don't know what I bought, it will be hard for me to recognise that. But, first of all, we have... Oh yes, it's another trilogy, I absolutely love these. So we have The Perfect Man, 13, Going on 30, and Head Over Heels. I've never seen the bottom two, I think I've seen The Perfect Man at one point, but I don't really remember it. Is that the one that Caroline Ray is in? It may well be. I'm looking forward to seeing all three of them, so this is a good start. Next up, if I can get into the envelope, we have just one in here, and this is... Cockneys vs Zombies. This is one that I've taken a risk with because it's not exactly a highbrow film. It's not one that a lot of people praise, but the people who do praise it seem to really, really like it. I think I just bought it because I keep meaning to watch it and never do, so I'm finally going to take the plunge. I don't really like zombie films. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. This one's in a very odd sized envelope. And this one, I never do that, is... Oh, we have two in here. First one. I'm so happy. But also really sad. This is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. This is the last Freddy Krueger film I have to watch. I've seen them all. So if anybody would like to remake Freddy Krueger, I know it was only seven years ago that it was redone, but if anybody wants to remake A Nightmare on Elm Street, that would be absolutely fantastic. And the second one in this pouch is Babysitter Wanted. I just, I have this weird obsession with babysitter horrors because especially where it's the babysitter who is the threat rather than somebody plaguing the babysitter. I, I don't know which is the way with this one, but I just thought it looked good. I judged it by its cover and it's an 18. They're usually darker, usually pushing the boundaries a bit more and that is what I like. Four down, should be six more to go. And next up, midway, we have Back to the Future Part 3. Oh. Yes, I completely obviously forgot that I'd bought this one. I love the first two. I've been meaning to see this for basically since I watched the second one, which was about a year, maybe two years ago. But, you know, these films need no introduction. They're brilliant. I hope this one's just as good. The good news is that it does look like we have all of the rest of them. I haven't not received any of them. So that is a good start. And here we have... Postgrad. From what I understand, it's about a girl who graduates and then has to try and get on with her life. Uh, you know, Michael Keaton, Jane Lynch, really looking forward to that aspect of it. Even if the plot's not good, I'll enjoy the cast, but fingers crossed it'll be a nice, relaxing, maybe cheesy film. Last one, saving the biggest to last, but will it be the best? And the fourth last is The Eyes of March. This is another one that I hadn't heard of, but I really like Ryan Reynolds, and I just thought, yeah, it sounds interesting enough, looks interesting enough, that's what it looks like on the back, and I'll give it a go. I'm always willing to watch a film for the first time, even if I know nothing about it. Third from the end, 28 Days Later. I know, I haven't seen it, I'm the worst film fan in the world. That looks beautiful. I just really like the design of that, and yeah, it feels quite heavy as well. It's quite a thick, good quality case. So. Everybody praises this. If I like it, I will of course watch 28 Weeks Later. I really hope I like it. Ooh. Are we going to save the best till last? We have two left. I will go with this one first. Uptown Girls, Brittany Murphy and Dakota Fanning. This is another one that I've really wanted to see for a while, but just never made the effort, so I bought it so that I will definitely at some point soon get around to seeing it. I don't really know if I've heard anybody talking about this. I don't know what people think of it. But I will not look at any reviews until I've watched it. But by all means, if you do have an opinion on it, then I would love to know what it is. Drum roll, please. We have the end. This one is... It could potentially be ending on a high. This is The Cottage. And admittedly, it sounded really bad. But the reviews were really good for it. Uh, so we'll see. Apparently, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek. And I just love how simple that design is. So, yeah, the DVD is the same. Yeah, it's it's a film like it's a lot of praise, but if it wasn't for the re reviews, I wouldn't have gone near it. I don't know what to expect. Either way, I'm very happy. Ten DVDs, twelve separate films, 
I don't know which one I'm looking forward to the most, but I think I'm going to watch Uptown Girls first. I'm going to try and not watch New Nightmare for as long as possible. Because I can't believe that's the last Freddy Krueger film I have to watch. I am heartbroken, but we have a new Chucky coming out soon, which is really good. Looking forward to that a lot. If you've seen any of these, let me know what you think of them. Any suggestions for other films, as always, I would love to hear them. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.